Hello Internet, hello Saskatoon, and welcome to day two of our food bank challenge. First things first, let me show you my breakfast. Spinach and cottage cheese on toast with watermelon and a juice box. Now one of the questions I've received so far is what else are you eating that isn't in the hamper? The answer to that question is only water. So that also means no condiments, no salt, no pepper, and no Frank's Red Hot. Come on! So I'm just sitting here working on the day one video blog. No, seriously, I can't work with this guy anymore. After the first day of the food bank challenge, I've come to three realizations. One, eating food keeps me warm. Now from what I'm told by the internet, digesting food releases heat. Or my body could actually be detoxing right now from all of the crappy food I used to eat. In any case, I can tell I don't have the energy I used to have. Yesterday I felt like I was in a haze, but eating that alphagetti actually really warmed me up. One half-eaten bowl of alphagetti and some Ritz crackers. Two, when you don't have a lot of food, rationing your food starts to make sense. I actually pre-packaged my Ritz crackers. I even made a full meal plan, and I'm doing all this so that I don't eat too much one day and starve the next. Three, our grandparents are smarter than we are. Even the second day into this challenge, I've been thinking about what might be in the hamper that I'm not making use of. One of the things I thought of was the watermelon rind. Did you know that pickled watermelon rind is actually pretty popular in South Africa and the American Southwest? Who here used to make fun of grandma when she would offer you pears out of a jar? And in canning your own stuff, you save money and have control over what goes in them. No polysorbate 80 or tartas. Pickling takes a couple of weeks, so it won't help me now, but food for thought. <laughs> Toast hot dog with sprig mix salad and watermelon and some juice for dressing. So how do you think I'm doing so far? Leave a comment below. And remember why I'm doing this. Songs for Supper, November 19th, 7 o'clock. See you there.